So the recording takes a moment to start. Um, can't see, I can't see that screen anymore. Okay, it started. Yeah, I got All it. right. Perfect. All right. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to today's mayor's manager meeting for Wednesday, September 28th. Uh, online with me is Assistant City Clerk Sarah Harkness, Mayor Pro Tem Steve Ward, uh, City Clerk Jackie McKinnon, City Attorney Tam Niles, and City Manager Sean Lewis. Sean, I'll let you kick us off. All right, thank you. <clears throat> I'm looking at October 3rd, we have uh, the Youth Advisory Board discussion, National Citizen Survey report out, presentation regarding proposed revisions to municipal code regarding telecommunications. Uh, Sean, the um, outside council, um, we're moving that to October 10th because there were too many study sessions already on October 3rd, just FYI. Oh, gotcha. Thank you. And then also on the third, approved renewal of contract with Hill Petroleum for bulk fuel. Proclamation regarding Indigenous Peoples, Co-Enforcement Month Proclamation. And uh, emergency, Ma emergency Management Month Proclamation, Conflict Resolution Month, motion regarding uh, 107,000 resurface, uh, 107,000, yes, uh, resurfacing at Pirates Cove. Uh, order three on call contracts um, for line repairs, the water system. I have amendment number one to city attorney employment agreement. And we may also move that. Um, the mayor and I received an email this morning from council member Russell that she may want to discuss some additional matters. So that may end up moving to a different meeting as well. Okay. Um, Colorado, let's see. So on the third, approval of an ordinance amending Inwood Municipal Code and public offenses reclassified as misdemeanors. Approve an ordinance amending, uh, excuse me, adding Inwood Municipal Code designating properties within the city. Uh, approval, second reading, approval of an amendment regarding emergency winter sheltering. Second reading of an IGA with Inglewood Schools. Second reading of solicitations from vehicle sidewalk obstructions. Approve a bill for an ordinance approving the 2023 budget. That's first reading. <clears throat> um, let's see. Code amendments regarding animal impound. And then CB56, a second um, budget, first reading. Um, then another one, and another one. <laughs> um, approval of an IGA regarding voter services polling center usage. Uh, approval of first reading of an IGA with Cherry Hills Village for vehicle maintenance. Budget ordinance. And that takes us to October 10th. Do we have those labeled correctly, the first reading, second readings? Just kind of curious. Because the Cherry Hills Village, I don't know why, but I felt like we already voted on that, but maybe not. So I think it's right, though. I think it may be only the first reading. And we have yeah, times for that. the... I'm sorry, go ahead. I just said we can check that. Yeah, I think it's actually the first reading. So... Um, do we have times on the study session? So we're moving the third study session, the uh, outside council one, right? Yeah. Okay. We have about 50 minutes for study session. Okay. For the first two items. Sounds good. Okay. I, I think the only thing to add is that just depending on uh, we, we may have to add an executive session on the 3rd, essentially, or the 10th. So I guess we've got to discuss that with uh, council. Um, all right, no further questions on my side. Anything from you, Steve, on the 3rd? Looks like a long night. Yeah. All right, ready to move on to the 10th. 
We've got a study session um, regarding the opinion environmental by opinion environmental for the historic preservation study, a strategic plan performance dashboard, draft economic development strategic plan, uh, Dartmouth Avenue traffic calming project update. And then this is the one that uh, required this to be a special meeting. We do need to uh, approve the 2023 insurance letter agreement with Kaiser. And that's it for the 10th. Any questions? Um, I think that's listed as yes for consent, but on a special meeting, will we have consent? Sure. I would recommend we not take it up not put it on any sort of consent, given this is the reason for the special meeting. Um, yeah. I think we should discuss it. Yeah, should we go through times? It's almost like everything at the time. Sure. Okay, so we have, what's the first item? Historic preservation study. 15 minute presentation, what do we think there? Steve, about 15, 20 minutes for discussion. This is challenging without seeing the content, but yeah, I was going to say ballpark 15 to 30 minutes. Sure, could we put it at 20 minutes, just somewhere in there? Yes, I'll put it at 20. Let's say study session night. I'm not too concerned with getting the times exactly right. Um, strategic plan performance dashboard. So is this just going over the dashboard? Yes. OK, so what, 10, 15 minutes discussion? Potentially. Is that your thought on that, Sean? I mean, at maximum, I would say. OK. I think 10, 10 would do it. 10 minute discussion, Steve? Yes, I agree on that. OK. Next one is draft for the economic development strategic plan. How vast is that content, Sean? Uh, because I can see having a lot um, of questions on this. On, on the which one? on the economic development. Um, strategic plan. I haven't seen it, but I, you know, I think it'll be. I don't think it will be controversial. So it'll be like a 15, 20 minute discussion about the same amount as the presentation. Probably. Any thoughts there, Steve? Another challenging one, but yeah, mm -hmm. uh, let's go with that. Let's go 20 minutes on that one. And then 15 minutes, so 15 minute presentation on Dartmouth Avenue. Are we talking basically uh, the potential roundabouts? Is that, are we looking east of Broadway? Yes. Okay. I can see you having quite a bit of discussion on this one. How far along are we on this project, Sean? The farther we are, the more likely it's going to be a bigger discussion. Um, it's a project update, and okay. you know we don't have final design, and you know we're okay. also presenting options. I don't think um, roundabouts were the only option. Okay. What do you think, Steve? Twenty-minute discussion on that one. Just know that there's a lot of interest on that one. Yeah, I think if if we have any controversy over traffic circles, that could be longer. Um, yeah. but yeah, let's plan for hope for the best there. So I say just 20 on that one. All right, I think that's everything. <clears throat> All right, moving on to the 17th, we have um, purchase of new hardware for our SAN. Recognition of citizens planning school graduates. Recognition of the Museum of Outdoor Arts. We had this as proclamation, but um, and it's not going to be a proclamation now. Um, it'll just be recognition at the beginning of the meeting. Okay. And then the 17th, approval of a change order with Stanley Consultants for on-call engineering services. Short-term security, uh, additional funding. 
Oh, description there. Comcast dark <laughs> fiber agreement, first reading. Mallee Senior Center pedestrian improvements, first reading. This is for a Dr. Cog funded project. Uh, first reading of uh, municipal code sections regarding quarterly billing cycles for utility billing. And that's it. Okay. No questions for me. All right. Um, on the 24th of October, we have the monthly financial report for September, administrative studies uh, results for changes to the enterprise funds. Um, presentation number three, or presentation three, phase two of charter review project. And then November 7th, code next technical provisions, three year IGA with Aurora South SBDC. November 14th, code next, mobility access and public realm or public something. Uh, November 14th, Oh, there it is. Um, we're still there. Uh, public realm design provisions. November 21st, Small Business Saturday. Then ordinance repealing Inglewood Municipal Code regarding cable channel. That, yeah. November 21st, approving ordinance Comcast uh, franchise. 21st, still um, amendments to code regarding traffic procedures and definitions. November 28th, monthly financial report. <clears throat> More charter revisions. Code next update on sustainability. Any Anything else you want to see, Miriam? Not on my side. No, I think we're good. Are we scheduling a holiday dinner again on the before that meeting on the 12th? Uh, thanks for the reminder. We will do that if that's what y'all want to do. Just put a placeholder at the very least. Okay. No, I don't have any further questions regarding the agenda. Steve, anything on your end? Before we move to council response. Did you want to go through it, Sean? Sure, I've got the ones I've got. Oh, well, I must have misfiled them in my city council folder in OneNote because um, <laughs> they're not there. So I, Rita sent me her three and then um, the one she had written down and then but I'm not remembering what the fourth one was so oh uh, regarding Rita's or yeah it, uh, we just had the four from Rita three that she had written down that she said she would send me let me see if make sure yeah, she I think the other it. ones were answered I wrote down several but some were answered during the meeting oh so apologies I'm, I must have put it in the wrong folder in one note okay so and she has and not think, sent them to me actually yeah you answer remember Woodward's during the meeting regarding fire in Denver health uh PFAS plastic I think that was directed more towards uh director Van Rye and then I think we we just made mention of just the fines and the loss of permit rights I know that that was something that we talked about during council request or council members choice so so I think you're right I think those were the only four I captured Steve, did you capture any, capture anything different? I did not. Okay. All right. So, anything else from staff? Not I. Anything? I'm sorry. Um, anything from you, Mayor Pro Tem? I'm good. Thank you. All right, everyone. So that now concludes today's Mayor Managers meeting. Everyone, have a great day. You too. You too. Thanks, everyone. Thank you. Bye. Bye. All right. Bye. Bye.